Good, mo good morning, everybody. That was Chad Sullivan going down on his first pass. Chad Sullivan's down uh, down Houston way. He skis at the Blue Mile. If you guys have never been there, I hear it's an incredible sight. It is actually a mile long. I'm Chris McWaters, and I'm standing here with uh, the legend himself, Don Simon. He is fully clothed. He has a lot of wrinkles. And believe it or not, he has water in his hand. Chad Sullivan is uh, getting ready. He should be coming in. I think he does two forward passes, actually, here, Don. I don't think he does two back passes. Or uh, one back pass and one forward pass. So he should be coming back in. He'll get 25% uh, of this uh, this run here. Here he goes. The boat's tight. The line's tight, and the boat's getting up to speed for him. Whoa. And he's up on his feet. He had some tough time getting outside that weight. There he goes. Looks like he had an early touchdown there. Looked like a pretty clean one. A lot of complete Chad Sullivan's uh, Sullivan pass there. And uh, if you guys notice that there's a jet ski following you, so all you guys that are tuning in, there's a jet ski that's following, that's uh, Jason Lee himself, the legend. That's our pickup guy. We're trying to limit the walk of shame. The walk of shame for all you guys that do not know that, if you fall before this jump on either side, you've got to walk all the way back. Next on the water is going to be Eric Coyer. I could be wrong, but I do believe Eric Coyer is from the Atlanta area. He skis with Betsy Gilman and Ryan and... Eric got a PB of 6.6. .6. Followed by him will be Lee Stone. I get a paw up from Lee Stone down there. I bet you guys do not know that Lee Stone is actually from Texas. Line's tight. Boat's going up to speed for Eric Coyer's first run. Looks like he's going to come in forward. Outside on the passenger side there. As the boat gets up to speed, Eric's going to start his first one-foot weight crosses. Nice. There's the third one looking pretty tight there. Ah, I may have a little step down there. This looked pretty good. Good job. That's Eric? That Eric Coyer. He hasn't Don Simon's telling me that Eric Coyer probably hasn't skied a tournament in about 10 years. That's really good. They look good out there. Back in the day, he used to be the regional director down here. Driving for us today is going to be Doug Jordan out of the west. And uh, two judges in the boat. We're going to have uh, Ashley Steady, Judy Torres, Jerry Knoyer. Videographer is Robbie Groen. Yes, that's Ben's dad. One of the scorers is the legendary scorer John Boyd. John Boyd. Ash will be also doing that. And down there at the dock will be Alex Youngblood.
great day down here today at uh, Polk City. Well, what was you was used to be USA Water Ski is now turned into Action Water Sports. It's a Mastercraft dealer. Supposed to be a beautiful day in the uh, low 90s. Of course, there's going to be some humidity. We are in Florida, and we do have a chance of rain. Looks like Eric's going to come in again for a... Uh, Looks like he'll do another front pass here. Oh, no, he's going to roll it on over. He's going to be coming in for a back pass. Rolls on over, gets his legs out. Nice. Boat's taking him up to speed. He's going to pop out on the, driver, on the uh, passenger side. Get himself ready, waiting for that boat to get up to speed. Uh, he's doing some one foot weight crosses like that early down there and there, so you get cut in half when you do that. Not too bad if you haven't skied and hasn't competed in over 10 years. You have the handle at both ends of the lake, that's always the important thing. Let the judges decide from there. That time the water is going to be Lee Stone. He's got the shiny head down there. Lee Stone is from Austin, Texas. We do have a few people here from Texas. Yeah. What's this? Major sponsor presented by other sponsors to mention throughout the throughout the day. What do you got it, buddy? Well, so I'm going to play you this camera. You're going to back you up, bro. So you because that's what you need. You're actually on camera half the time, and it's like from your shoulders up. Oh, that's fine. You might want to get some other decent loop in there. <laughs> Lee Stone's going to be coming in. He'll do both forward and backward passes. If he doesn't, I will be very surprised. Lee Stone picks his nose a lot. That's why he's got that guard in his nose. Lee Stone's sitting there talking to the driver. For you guys that are not familiar with three event barefooting, and this, uh, when we when we make our calls, we've got to give the, uh, the the driver instructions on how do we want to come out of the water, how do we want to come across that stern roller, and then how do we want to get up to our final speed and what our final speed is going to be. So right now, I'm sure Lee's, he's probably got some BSing going on in there, but he is also telling him what he would like to get for his speed and how he wants to get to that speed. If at any point that that is altered, you might have a chance for a re-ride. Of course, unless you're David Small and you get honorary re-rides whenever you want. I've been told I've got to stand up because you guys can't see me. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. So Lee Stone's coming in, line's tight. He's going to start in going backwards first. Gets that wide stance. And there the boat gets up to speed. Eventually he's going to get outside that wake. And he does. He's doing two foot wake crossings it looks like. Oh, and down he goes. Sit up there. Yeah. Damn it. Can I still eat my croissant? And Thank you. 
All right, uh, you guys have noticed that that boat came zooming back. Um, he got himself one of those honorary re-rides. As everybody starts to trickle in for the morning, we see them all trickling in. So it looks like uh, Lee Stone got one of those uh, David Small re-rides here. And uh, he'll be doing it again, giving them their instructions. Now there's some weeds down there that get around that prop. Uh, if you notice when you're looking on our live feed, you'll see the weeds. And uh, sometimes when the boat gets in there, we'll, uh, we'll gather up some of those, and the boat really takes a hard time getting up to speed. The lake's only about 2,400 feet long, so you've got to get up and get busy. So if there's a delay in getting, that, getting to your speed, well, then it's going to make it really hard for you to get a 15-second run in. Now, we get 15 seconds from the moment you make a, a move towards the wake or a first trick, and you have 15 seconds from that point. So it's, a, it's crucial that you get started quick because you're going to run out of the lake really quick, especially when you're going at the higher rates of speeds. All right, looks like Lee Stone's going to come in again for his re-ride. Hank Longo's over here. He's uh, adjusting the volume. <laughs> There's a bunch of gentlemen over there on uh, getting ready to do some paving for Action Water Sports. When you guys get done over there, and I know you're going to be thirsty, come on over here and grab some beer from us. Lee Stone, here he comes in. He's getting ready to start his weight crossings. Uh, doing two-foot weight crossings. Look like he got a lot better speed there. He's got a good pattern going. Now, without picking up a foot, you get cut on all these, so you're only going to get 50% on these here. But he's got a good pat. He's got a uh, got a good rhythm going. That looks pretty good for Lee. Across the way, we got legendary Lynn Nowakowski. He's taking pictures for us for Water, Ski Mag or, uh, Water Skier Magazine. We love to have Lynn around. We're really blessed to have him here in Winter Haven, Florida. Lauren Ehlers is playing with the music. We got Pink Lips, Lexi McCauley here. Purple, purple, please. Please belay my laugh. While we're waiting for uh, Lee to come in for his forward pass here, I'd like to thank a couple of our sponsors starting off. We'd like to thank Homewood Press. That's uh, Offline Marketing and Solutions. That's a Pat Felgner. Pat Felgner is actually from Ohio. Unfortunately, he's a Buckeye fan. Uh, Pat Felgner, is a, he's a barefooter. He loves to do endurance, and he's got himself a, uh, a barefoot nautique. And I see him up there and taking his pictures. He didn't live too far from me when I used to live in Michigan. And uh, he goes up and down on Clark Lake couple buddies up there and he's got some really nice pictures he certainly has a really nice boat we like to thank pat felgner for uh homewood press uh, offline marketing solutions lee stone's going through the uh the instructions for his second pass he'll be coming in forward here
And here comes Lee. Gets out on the uh, passenger side. Both getting up to speed. And Lee is up. Getting ready, and he's getting busy quick. He does one foot weight cross. He got himself a touchdown there. He's going to get cut on that. That one looked pretty good for Lee. Here we go. I think he's got himself a good four and a half or five and a half. I didn't know if I counted it right there. He's either four and a half or five and a half. Lee Stone's uh, PB is going to be nineteen or uh, nine. Point one zero. I'm not sure he got that on this one. Next on the water is going to be Don Stope. Don Stope hails from uh, New Hampshire. He's up there in that eastern division, that eastern region. Really good guy. We were talking to Don last night. Uh, Don rescued a bunch of great Danes up there, made national news. And uh, he's doing a good thing for those dogs up there. He's a big dog lover. And if you guys never met Don, Don's got a dog named Tracker. Tracker, I know he's smarter than I am, so but that's not saying too much. He does do hand commands. We go to the, I've been up there in uh, New Hampshire, the eastern regions, and he puts the dog outside of the at the grocery store and just sits there and waits. People come by and pet him, and then when we go, he gets back into the car and we leave. Don's better ha Don's better half is here, Arlene. Like to thank her for coming down. For all you people that are around this country that are looking to host the regionals, Dom and Arlene Stope have offered up a a thousand dollars to whoever wants to host the uh, next regional or uh, the next nationals. Actually, Don Stope's giving up his instructions right now. And Don Stoat's going to go out onto the driver's side, and he looks like he's going to be coming in forward. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. There's one. I'm not too sure what happened there, ladies and gentlemen. We lost the feed about three quarters of the way down there. We're going to have a slight delay in the uh, in the action, ladies and gentlemen. We're working on our live feed. There we go.
we go. Don Scopes coming in backwards. He's doing his first. Looks like he's doing some two foot. Oh, he's trying one foot weight crossings. Does not look like he's picking them up. Don had the handle at both ends of the of the lake. His top score is 10. I'm not sure he's going to get that one there. Well, that'll round out our first uh, group today for the uh, 2018 U.S. Barefoot Nationals, the Slalom Division, Men's B. We're going to go into our uh, next round.